Hey guys, so today I'm going to do the products I regret buying video. And um, I guess I'll just get started. These three all over color sticks, I think like, I don't think I would do this if I just bought one, but I got three. And that's why I don't like them. Just because they're way too shimmery to use as cream blushes. And like, like you'd look oily. Like, it's not even, like, shimmer. It's, like, oil. Like, you look like you're, like, sweating or something. And it's gross. And then, like, on your lips, they're not pigmented enough to look pretty. Like, I'm using... I'm wearing one of them on my lips right now. But it's just, like, in my mirror, like, it looks more... That looks more high def on camera. But, like, it's, like... In my mirror, it just kind of looks like I have, like, blue glitter, like, stuck to my mouth. And it's not very attractive. Um, yes, yeah, so that's those. And then I have this MAC Dazzle Glass Cream in my favorite pink. And I don't like this just because... Here, look it. Ew. And, like, sometimes if I do it fast, it'll whip out and it'll, like, go over everything. And, like, it's not... And it smells weirder than, like the other ones the brush fray frayed can you see that oh eh, whatever but like the brushers are sticking out and it's just like they're gritty and I just don't like it I mean the color is pretty like I found a good way to use it it's just I don't like it when it's on my mouth like it's really pretty color for summer and I mean the glitter in it is nice and I wouldn't mind the glitter if it wasn't so gloopy yeah is that then I have um I'll do this OPI nail polish is this OPI nail lacquer in gargantuan green grape and it's a matte and I don't know if it's just like a bad one that I got but this one is really like I don't know it's really gloopy like I feel like it started to like dry out or something and I didn't get it that long ago like I have another matte nail polish so and that one's fine, but I don't know. It's just this one. Just like the one I got or like the color itself, but I don't I don't like it. Okay. Then I have a flirt eyeshadow and you can get flirt at Kohl's, I think. And I mean it's in ch chocoholic. And it's just not a pretty color. Ah. I mean the packaging's cool because I mean like this slides out and you flip it up to a mirror and like it's cool it's just like the color it makes me look like I have like a black eye or something like it's pigmented and it's pretty it's just not on me it's not pretty then um this Maybelline quad and she seashore frost and I mean, like, I don't know what, I don't even know why I got this. Like, I don't know how these colors could look good together at all. I mean, I did this look, like, I tried it out, and it just looks weird. Like, it's not, something's not right about it. And then, these six things are, um, these Ulta eyeshadows. Like, I used to use them a lot. Um, because I depotted them and put them in the CG palette, but, like, I don't even know. It's just I don't use them anymore. And, I mean, I use them a couple times for, like, looks and stuff, but I don't use them, like, anymore at all now. So they're just kind of sitting there doing nothing, and I don't know. And I think I paid, like, $7 for each of them. Which isn't bad for a good eyeshadow. It's just like, I got weird colors. I don't know why I got those. And then next is this. Bare Minerals. I got this. It's not even like I don't like the product. I mean, I like it. The color that I have is medium beige. And I mean, I guess right now it looks okay. But I mean, I tried to use this when I got to school and by that time my tan had faded away and it was way too dark for me and it just didn't I don't know I just 
because I got it when I was near the end of vacation. And I had a beach, I like, not a beach house. I had um, a hotel on the beach. So I was outside every day and for like a week and a half. And then the I got, that's when I got this at the end of, um, there was an Ulta there. And I don't have an Ulta near where I live. Um... Yeah, so like I got this because I really liked it. And like when she put it on me, it was really nice. And like I could wear it for about another week. But then my tan started to fade away because I went back home. And I don't, I can't use it now. Like I can't, I can't even use it like right now. Like I'm, I'm tan, but I'm not as tan as I was. So that's that. How much time do I Okay. Then the last thing is NARS Orgasm Blush. And it looks like that. It's like a peachy pink with gold shimmer. I'm sure you've seen it before. I don't know. It's just like, I mean, I don't like shimmer. I don't like the shimmer in it. Like, it's, it's so unnatural looking. Like, since I'm young, I don't, like, you can see, like, in, out in the light, you can see the gold shimmer on my face. And I don't know, it just kind of makes me look like a hoochie. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I, and this was like $25 too, so, I like the packaging, I don't know why everybody complains about their packaging, I think it's kind of cool, it's kind of squishy. Anyways, so those are the products I regret buying, thank you for watching this video, hope it was helpful for you in a way, and yeah, so, um, please comment, rate, or thumbs up, whatever and subscribe and I will be your best friend <laughs> okay so I will see you in my next video bye